Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we are going to see how to find out the Laplace transform of sine bt. To find out this one, first of all, we write the generic, generic equation that's 0 to infinity e power negative st and we will have a function of t dt. In our case, function of t is sine bt. So instead of this f of t, we replace this one and do the integration. So this is going to go from 0 to infinity e power negative st and the function of t is sine bt sin bt dt now we have to do the integ integration to do the integration the easy method is we take the differentiation and the integration together and if we take the differentiation for differentiation i'm going to take e power negative st to do the integration i take sin bt so if i take differentiation e power negative st for differentiation if you do, do the first differentiation this is going to be negative s e power negative st and then if you take the second differentiation this is going to be negative s square e power negative st and then we are going to do the integration for sine bt i put the sine bt right here if you do the integration of sine bt that's going to become 3 actually negative 1 over b negative 1 over b cos bt cos bt and then if you do the integration for this one that's going to turn into negative 1 over b square negative 1 over b square sine bt so the integration is basically this one like multi the cross multiplication like this okay if you do that that's going to give us the integration now let's go ahead and write the integration for this one so here what we here we have an improper integral so we take the limit first limit n approaches infinity and then i write this one again instead of this infinity i replace that one with n that's why we take the limit right here and this is going to go from 0 to n and then e power negative st sine bt dt sine bt dt now now we are going we, we have already done this part so i'm going to instead of this integration i'm going to put this one but this is in for, in the form of like uh, we, we are doing the integration by parts if you remember integration by parts is integration u dv is equal to uv minus integration v du I didn't completely integrate it's going to become in this pattern uv minus integration of v du so when we replace this one this is going to be in this pattern but uh, when i do that you will see we can simplify this one easily like there's a shortcut for this so let's let's go ahead and continue right here this is going to become so here what i'm going to do is i avoid these limits right now avoid this limit and th think it as there's no limit right now and then do the integration then we are going to substitute the limit back so first i do the do this one without limit so this is going to be e power negative st sine bt dt that's equal to negative e power negative st cos i i'm doing the cross multiplication so negative if you multiply this one with this this is going to be negative e power st cos bt and also we have 1 over b right here i put the negative already so just have to divide this one by b so this is going to be b right here and after that i cross multiply this one this is going to become negative c power negative st multiplied by this one that's going to turn into s e power negative st divided by b square divided by b square and uh, this one actually becoming positive because negative negative here we have negative right plus minus plus negative negative this plus and that's why when we multiply by this one we are getting negative right here negative sc power negative st divided by b square and then we are going to have sine bt now this is for uv part minus integration of s square over b square minus s square over b square e power negative st sine bt sine bt dt now here we have this one we, we we have done the integration for this part but this part we have to do the integration but if you look at this one this is similar to the other side of the equation in this other side we have e power negative st sine bt here also we have e power negative st sine bt but we have a constant in front that's the difference so what we can do is we if we add both side with 
this s square b square e power negative st sine bt dt this side will cancel because if i put plus right here and e s square b square e power negative st sine bt dt these two are going to cancel each other right same stuff but opposite sign but if i like this only works if you have same thing like here we have e power negative st sine bt dt same function that's why i can add them both side so i had to if i add here i had to do this one to the other side too so this is going to be here we are going to have s square divided by b square e power negative st sine bt sine bt dt okay now we have got rid, gotten like got rid of all these parts so we are left with this one here we have this is in front of this one just one and this is s square over b square if we take the common denominator for this one like if we add one plus s square divided by b square this is basically b square divided by b square so this is going to turn into b square plus s square divided by b square okay that's going to be it now here we have this one right here so we can write this one as b square plus s square divided by b square integration of e power negative st sine bt dt sine bt dt and in the other side we just have these two terms e power the first two terms this one and this one because other other one we cancel already so we are going to have negative e power negative st divided by b cos bt cos bt minus s e power negative st divided by b square sine bt now we have to do the integration and if we do the integration for this one this is going to turn into let's write with a different color this is going to turn into b square <coughs> actually the integration is already here so all we have to do is just get rid of this term in front to get rid of this one we can divide both sides if we divide this is going to be flip around in the other side b square plus s square so we can write integration of e power negative st sine bt dt is going to be b square plus s square divided by b square then uh, multiplied by negative e power negative st divided by b cos bt cos bt minus s e power negative st divided by b square sin bt now here i'm going to continue this one here let's get rid of all these things so let's multiply that one and see what we get okay let's continue this one right here so after we do the integration we are going to now we have to apply limit for this limit n approaches infinity and instead of uh, i put the because we are we, do, we have done everything without limit so if we do the limit this is going to be again 0 to n right here and then e power negative st sine bt sine bt dt if we do the limit for this one we have to do the same thing for the other side so we put limit n approaches infinity and if we multiply this one here you can see we have a b in the denominator b in the denominator so we can okay let's see let's see whether we can simplify this one okay i, I made a mistake right here because when we do the division this is going to be reciprocal right so this one is going to be just b square this is going to be b square divided by b square plus s square because when we divide this is going to flip around so here we have this one here b square b square plus s square so when we multiply this one by this here we have b in the denominator and we have a negative so this is going to become negative b over b square plus s square e power negative st e power negative st minus actually e power negative st cos bt cos bt and then minus if we multiply b square 
over b square plus a square to this one here we have b square in the denominator so the whole b square is going to cancel b square in the numerator and b square in the denominator is going to cancel each other so we are going to get s s divided by b square plus s square e power negative st sine bt sine bt going from 0 to infinity now actually 0 to n because we, we are integrating in terms of 0 to n now let's go ahead and substitute this one if we substitute n first this is going to become limit n approaches infinity and we are going to substitute n for all the t right here so this is going to become negative b over b square plus s square negative e power negative s and instead of this t i put n right here and also here we have cos bt instead of this t i put n right here and after that again minus s over b square i get rid of these terms uh, this other side because it's going to confuse so i get rid of all these things here okay let's continue here okay here we have s over b square plus b square plus s square and again negative st instead of t i put n e power negative s times n and sine and instead of t i put n right here and this is for we substituted n but we have zero also here so minus minus the whole thing and then i'm going to substitute zero so first negative b over b square plus s square e power negative s times zero cos b times zero b times zero and then minus s over b square plus s square e power negative s times zero sine b times zero and that's it for this zero now let's see what happens here for the end part we we try to get all of them zero because if we do that everything is going to be easy now here in order to get the first one zero this n has to be this s has to be a positive number we want s to be positive because if s is positive and if n is infinity then the whole thing is going to be zero so we want s want s to be greater than zero and we need we need this one to be zero okay and also same thing for this one here this s has to be positive because if if this s is positive then e power negative infinity that's going to be zero so again want s is greater than zero need actually i put want for c like want this one for zero want zero want this one is zero need s is positive s is greater than zero okay so this two is going to be zero now for the other side so if we do that the first two term is going to be zero minus zero the end part is going to be zero then minus here if you look at this one e power negative s times zero that's going to be just one and cos zero is one so this is going to be these two are ones right these two are one e power zero is one cos zero also one so one one multiply by this one this is going to be just negative b over b square plus s square and here we have sine zero sine zero mean the whole term is going to be zero so this is zero right here so we can put just minus zero right here here we have minus minus so this is going to become plus so plus b over b square plus s square the condition here is s has to be greater than zero s is greater than zero and that's it i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching see you next time <coughs> sorry about that